Well, hi. Um, it's August 6th, the only day of the year that the sun will oppose my moon. See, that's something I can do for us. You know, you can humor me and, and charge. Um, I can charge you. See, I mix it up. I think that you're going to charge me um, $5 to, for me to tell you what day of the year that the moon, um, even though you can find it out anywhere else. I mean, it's a war, so just starve me out, please. I do not need to even feel. <laughs> uh, validated. Because I'm the universe, really. You have no idea. So what do I care? You do not matter. Here we go. We have, in August, here we are. It's the 6th. God, I'm starting out horribly. Look, wow, look at this. This year in August, we have a 14 degree Leo. And for whatever reason, you know, I'm going to point it out right here. Um, it, it, the ephemeris shows that it hangs at 14 degrees. Do you see that there? Um, sorry, did I... What am I talking about? Sorry, I can't see it, but maybe you'll be able to see it there. Um, it, it's so for this happens in astrology. There'll, there'll be a hic hiccup where the um, the uh, the sun because the sun moves a degree every day. It's supposed to be doing this this circle, right? Three hundred and sixty five degrees, but for whatever reason here, um, it's skipped. You know, and, and everybody likes to talk about. Well, it doesn't even matter because there's thirteen months and stuff like that. It's like, well, whatever. But it doesn't exclude that that there is the truth here, and us narcissists need a symbol system, an esoteric way of pointing at it back again. You know, if it's a roundabout that we go to the star and then put a word behind it and then point at it um, in an experience that maybe reality exists. I mean, it keeps rounding about how far do we think the universe really goes before we hit ourselves right back up at the side of the head and, and say, we are one with it. And anyway, welcome to um, Shauna's church. I'll be... Um, posting this it's being made on the see now i'm trying to explain how this one day that the sun opposes my moon at 14 degrees leo it does it here we go it does it twice do you see where my finger is do you see the 14 degree do you see the sun that that round thing up there i'm sorry i, I can't see what i'm doing uh so two days in a row, it's going to be at the 14 degree mark, sorry, right oppose my moon. It's like a double, a double of moon, a full moon thing. Um, but yeah, August, you know, I was dialing in on it. I like the last video that I put up. Um, it's very good. I, I'm actually a good astrologer and uh, when I keep doing it, it'll, it'll show. <laughs> so I just haven't done it. Um, uh, and, and well, I would say, gosh, it's, I've always done it personally, but to, to, to really start getting into, getting into it to where, um, you're going to send me money. Well, I mean, I, I, um, there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of other astrologers right now. And this one guy, he's like pissed. Why? Because first of all, you know, I'm, the only reason is, is like the, the Taurus people are, are weird. They're being weirded out right now. They think that they can own something. It's like, you don't own any of this. And if you're doing it right, especially the truth, um, with love behind it, um, it's a higher learning tool. So it's really a free for all. But um, the, the payoff is that people know something um, worth a damn more than the gumball society out there doing money that has lost it altogether. I mean, talk about flying off the handle and that it's just a handy dandy for the government. What government? The one that has set up the money system, which is only, you know, those little notes that they give you. That's an excuse, even though it's weird how they put in God we trust on it. Should be in joy we trust. It's not that, it's not like in deception we trust, because what is it? You know, what is the word God? Do we have any kind of conversation about it? 
talk about conversation. Do you notice that, well, that's just not the thing you ever, ever, never talk about, especially amongst, not amongst your friends, particularly your friends do not, um, uh, should not be included in this genre of spoken word to each other. Politics and religion. And so having said that, um, Yes, uh, moving forward with trying to talk about things that are like the root cause of like like a thorn in your side. And then now you can't talk about it. No, don't do that. It, especially, see, that's what, that's what I'm saying. It's, they say never talk about politics and religion. You get it? And and that's the main thing. It's like, well, wait a minute. Well, you know, really, you want to say, well, what do you mean? I mean, particularly the, for me, I'm a spiritual person. Forget politics. Once you get into politics, you've lost your entire everything. Your intelligence is gone. Spir at least spirituality says, well, perhaps there is an intelligence, and it's already here. We just have to <sighs> meditate. It's hard to do six entire breaths, but by, I can guarantee you, deep divers, by the time you do... Your six breaths, if you are not, like, getting high on the existential reality that it is, don't rush to the doctor. You you are going, you're like a, f a flag in the wind, and the wind is being generated by the sun right now, let alone that there's a cosmic happening that is just, I can't believe it. You see, if you're an astrologer, first of all, you can't believe a lot of things, because it's just the truth out there. It's like, and don't these people get interested in it? Or are they imagining a life to be, to be purely in a thought that was generated? You know, um, somebody else suggested it. Perhaps it was your religion and your politician. And uh, particularly, where does education fall right into there with it? Well, that's just your babysitting school because why? You know, you really, it's, 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 it's a funky war. It's a funky fucking war. Yeah, I, I got the, the, um, the camel green down, it was a long time ago that I was mentioning money and how it really looks as camel green, right? The one that the United States is, anyway. I'm just speaking for the U U.S. Well, I, they do have a purple number five. I like that purple number five. How do you like that? I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about money. That's the only, that's my talk about money. Just, well, look at it. Did you see the look on Benjamin Franklin's face? The $100 bill. If you're an empath and you look at that, it's like, to double take, you're like, oh, shite. What is the, you know, uh, is, is there something we need to do? Should we, is there a concern? What is it? It's almost like, it's like, it's a cross between you're in for it and, um, like, shame on you, but more like, you have no idea what you're doing, or, or just, maybe just like, how pitiful Sorry, that's what I see. And is that just is that just me? Do other people see like just a smile? Because no, 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 no. I'm not imagining this. And this is the problem we're having with the general population since how long? But the C19 announcement sure did spark it off like a gun during a in a race that says, "Who is able to feel here?" And and it's like um, and smell and taste and touch and who's using all their senses? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, yes. and 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 they they try to tell you with your mask on or off or whatever um, while you're trying to breathe. I don't know. I'm I'm not. Um, I don't know. This isn't a race of this. See who can um, survive the most adverse conditions without with and remain a Taurus like remain like the Taurus who's just stoic, right? I don't even want to act like the Taurus because I'd have to, well, just, I need to get my brick in here. Just show a brick. There it is. Sorry. I have a, a moon in Aquarius and I admit, I do admire and I love moon and Taurus and all the Tauruses. Really, right? How could you not if you have Venus and Virgo? But there's something about just stoicism. I don't know. All stoic stuff, all stuff that's too in denial about th about things. Now, is that Taurus? But a lot of times, Taurus takes the cake for that. They are too in their comfort 
zone. And and like I say, you know, really evolutionary style consciousness would say, um, maybe we forgot our Taurus. Taurus is the one who's got the basics down. They just say, wait a minute. Have you eaten yet today? Is the water clean? Guard that. Do we have our farm going? Is the is everybody happy in the sunshine? Like today. How are you? Like now. That's the Buddha. It's, you know, your one bowl, how is it? Wash it, put it away, go. You know, don't be too boring. Go go have sex and do it right. Do everything right. All of it. Oh my god, there's my rooper. My rooster is uh, interesting. I can go on and on about him, but I want to get back on the track of the thing that we need to mention that it seems to sneak up on us and we can't talk about it enough, but maybe some people will be able to do it in such a way that it's amazing. And everybody has their style. Like I was trying to mention, people doing astrology nowadays, They there's so many of them, you see. And, and that's okay. That's great. As long as we're um, uh, see, knowing about um, what we're pointing at, see... Um, you can tell a fake between the real. That's the bottom line. It doesn't matter um, who is dabbling in it a little bit and just brushing off the surface or not. The, the real is going to come up with, through that. And um, anyway, um, yeah, truth is uh, the main key that will spark. And with, we have um, this Mercury conjunct uh, Venus. It happens like right about the, on the 8th, yes, at 3 degrees. Um, it, we we are pointing at the feminine a lot, you know. We had like a succession of, of things, and the feminine has been going through something gnarly. But so now now we have um, Mercury, which see Mercury, um, Mars and Jupiter, are Mercury rule right now, and they're going to go through a square with Saturn. And um, but we're going to have this. So see, the point is, is the kind of the way you do astrology is you notice that. Mercury is having a personal it itself is in its home sign, so it's very strong there. And and is Venus in, in Virgo, and and now it's it's being Mercury ruled. There's a lot of Mercury ruled planets right now, and and that rules communications. And uh, well, the fact that we have it right there with the Sun in Leo, it, it's kind of getting dramatic. It's getting on the center stage. We're doing the center stage of Leo. For me, it's we got this full moon. It's, the double day, I'm telling you, on the 6th and the 7th, is the, the sun is appearing to be at 14 degrees on those two days. And it's, it could be the whole entire year that that happens. You have to kind of look at all of the whole 365 days, right? And uh, so making a whole full round, the sun does um, uh, one degree a day, you know. So, you, you know, so um, this thing, though, I want to really stress it's hard it's not it, it's easy to overlook i guess the fact that there's women here and and um well the the way that the, 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 the way that it's in bottom line it's in virgo we have a lot of Vir see it's in virgo what see the way you do it is um there's mars and Jupiter doing spaghetti head over there. Does anybody catch a train of anything? Pardon me. I hope I have enough time here. But see, Mars and Jupiter is in Gemini doing, see, a lot of research. It's highly energetic there. I know that they're very versatile people. They, they love their research. They want to stay busy with mental categorization, categorization, you see, uh, with Jupiter there, whew, uh, that's kind of like, man, you know, it's a little bit kind of overblown, maybe, uh, it's getting into, any, anything goes, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's getting into the fringes, yes, I remember, uh, Mercury, Jupiter um, aspects, it's like, oh, is that a lie or not, is it, oh, that's a bit of exaggeration, of course, you know, and, and it really doesn't even go together, at least it's the conjunction, but then there's a square to Saturn, see, I see this thing, something vibrates that says, you know, this is wonderful. This is great. You know, it being, um, now see, we work at Mercury ruled. We look at the, what Mercury is actually doing. It's conjunct Venus in Virgo. Those the Venus in Virgo and and uh, Mercury there. Now, I'm realizing, too, that how that those two planets um, are going to be squaring Saturn. There is a mild square, um, elementary, you want to talk about. It's elemental, but it's not exact. 
and um, it, it, Mercury will Mercury will not be squaring um, Saturn along with um, Venus. That happens later on. Like let's say like a talk, talk, say say um, let's say did you think we had a hard enough time in, in love in the beginning of the month? Well, Venus is going to start squaring Saturn at 17 degrees right about at 19 at the on the 19th of August. And it's just you guys just you know c c calm down. You know you need to. Um, be kind to your feminine nature. I'm okay, Let's just look at this though. So, see how I'm looking at it. Well, you know, um, the, because your your um, feminine nature, or your woman, or um, is around you. Um, the one that you get along with, babe. It's love in your life. It's not really a woman. It's really the love that you um, are are. Have you cultivated that very um, um, technology within you? that is able to um, do what? Whew, let's talk about it. Well, we, we, we kind of beat around the bush, right? And uh, pardon the pun, I don't like that pun. Um, let's talk about um, just hitting the mark and getting it done. That's what love can do. It really dials in. It doesn't miss a darn thing. Now I reflect on the nature of water. Um, it, it's hard to explain love, but we get into metaphors because what are we talking about? We're talking about God itself, but now isn't it great to get into the word love and say, really, is that really what it is? Yes, it is. That's what it is. In love we trust, isn't it true? And now, but what is it, what, what is it really? You know, we're not here to have a bad time. Despite what all these people posing as human beings are doing from one household to the next, um, no, no, um, we are here particularly, probably, perhaps, to learn something about how sophisticated it is to um, create such a world, uh, something like Mother Nature out there. You know, I don't know about you, but I love it. I think it's great. That's now you're talking about a great, a good time. It doesn't have to be the, the massive mess that I'm talking about, where there's, where there's a mountain and a waterfall and a bunch of plants and the squirrels and the dirt and mass. I mean, if you know. Well, wilderness, no, you can just get a plant. That's how powerful it is. And and tend to it. See, I was going to say today, and it's very apropos for perhaps what we're going through with the Venus ruled um, Mercury. Uh, well, the conjunction is what I'm saying. And, uh, you know, the, the nature of it, it, it wants to get things done like earnestly. It really wants to, if Venus is there too, whoo, baby, it's really going to see with the square to Saturn. Now, oh, t sorry about that, but. Mercury is going to go back into Leo um, here. It's turned retrograde already, and we're going to have this conjunction. It's kind of funky the way it happens and, and while the Mercury is going retrograde, but this means we're getting a lot done. I'm going to hit, stay at three degrees for a while. It's slowing way down. It's going to go back on and hit Trump's um, degree, and Trump's going to actually have a birthday. You know, we, we keep the we, as as astrologers. You know, if you're if you're really good. See, this one astrologer, I noticed she got on here, it was not even um, two years, she predicted what was going, all this stuff, and it's like, yeah, you can, when you get that good and you, you keep practicing, you can see, and you start studying everybody's chart and, and looking, keeping it in mind, and saying, oh my god, this particular thing, see, that was, a, if you're a real astrologer, this is weird, it's like uh, Trump's people, Trump himself, he should have people that had, um, do astrology, I would have known, I would have called him and said, you don't go anywhere, on the day that Mars is squaring Uranus in the sky and you're directly involved with your Mars? No! No. Mellow down. Step up security if you're that kind of person. Especially, you know, because, you know, you, you could get a flat tire that day or something, you see. Uh, it just you'll notice it kind of tries to get to you from even though you're your cinder block room and you're meditating it's like yeah you feel irritable and just be just it, it it's a day that passes and, and then have your stupid speech thank you for listening to that that's why you want to do astrology it's like okay so couldn't avoid that huh hmm, uh yeah i think that this is a non-human just a, a weirdo it's a totally weird society if you really knew if you really knew so what am i wrecking my brain over oh you know it's it's a trip you know it's time to get a lot done with what i do here when i do it, it there's going to be a lot of packed in in a little bit at a time so let me just take time to 
erase these videos that I should erase because uh, this thing might cut out on me and it won't be a long video, so pardon me. But I wanted to do this astrology while it's going. Um, it is very much multi-tax square. If we're talking about Venus, you know, and then it's in Virgo, it's very analytical. It's mental. Unfortunately, she's going to think about it a little bit. And she's going to, um, like, tidy up and um, not be so, like, well, we just got a, the, the Leo thing. You know, it was like, what's going on on the stage over there? My God, did you really um, get some subject matter going that is worthwhile? Like, study it. Put your glasses on. And see, the Virgo style is very much like that, you know. Um, they are the teachers and the or the librarian or the innocent service worker of any kind. But then there's the, yeah, that is that um, uniformed person. You have to watch out with those people, by the way, especially, you know, when you get inside of the Venus there or the Mars there. You know, they're kind of, uh, they, they get work done. They're kind of surface, you know, but then, be, and then, well, you can just take the take the label off and what do you get you get a human being okay and human beings it has everything to do i was talking about there's possible that sex is here two of them now we're getting to um, well see you talk about it why not you know it's one is it politics it's just is politics can't talk about politics can't talk about men and women can Maybe that's the, that's men and women saying just don't talk about politics and don't talk about anything like religion. Talk about men and women. How was your night last night? No? Oh, well, get the hell away from that. Would you like to come over here? Here's some a banana tree. <laughs> I mean, here's the garden. What's the fuss? Really? Really? You people at each other's throats. What is it really? Money. Money has you dressing something strange. You didn't even make your own clothes. That's what it is. You don't have to, you don't know how to do anything now. I'm trying to erase some videos. And I, I sometimes I wonder like did I put this on or or did I not? Am I just erasing the best video that I did last time? Here's this one pathetic video. I don't know if you guys I, I there are videos that I'm not putting up. I'm sorry about that. I'm sure that if I got money uh you know really the distraction system, right? That Makes everybody worry about just the littlest things, right? Because what if you did um, create your life to be kind of simple, and simple pleasures, the littlest things we're doing here that it goes a long way. But then it was very that much simple to cut it off. It's like, yes, it took the very little and it took, to, but really no, um, yes. Did I mention the war that's happening, you know, with your money and how we're going to keep looking at it the more I get stressed out about it it's like it's possible and so um we're, we're we are reorientating ourselves thank god you know thank god for money it's making us think right now um how do we not sell our souls to the devil right right because the devil has all kinds of stupid ways you can make money it's really easy very easy very easy just run 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 away from the real work we have to do to maintain an actual decent human civilization, which is just basically, you know, your human associations from one household to the next. Let's look at it. Are people really just running out the door? And then there's that woman hanging in gauze. She feels like shit, by the way. Pardon me, not me. No, no. I breathe and I go, man, what are we supposed to do here? I, I, please, please. If you can, if the, if the vaxes did not get to you, get out into the sunshine. Do not, please, babes, make your own sunscreens. If you have to use sunscreen, why are you using the sunscreen? Use it a little, babe. Did you know that your um, body's alkaline, your acidity and alkaline, that's what is dependent on whether or not a cancer breaks out in you has nothing to do with anything else. It's it's what you're putting in your body that after a while, it's every 30 days or 40 days that your entire cellular system replenishes itself. Drink high alkaline water, drink, um, eat the high end alkalines food, the ones that fast and then re, re, redo yourself. 
and uh, you can um, just get rid of the chances of all of that stuff growing like on you. See, also, see, uh, uh, well, you want to you want to be careful with the lotions that they have you putting on your dermis, which is the biggest organ in your body. Your your skin is the biggest organ in your body, and if you're putting like um. I'm not a doctor or anything, but, you know, the lotions and stuff and the shampoos have very um, inauthentic or inorganic, is what I meant, materials on it and in it. And after a while, no, especially coupled with the sun, you're going to, you're going to find that you, you, you <laughs> I'm telling you, it, it's what causes can, it's cancers. They've traced it already. You have to get away from doing that. They put aluminum in it. Same thing with under here. See, um, under your arms and there's places on your body like your belly button and stuff that we don't know that we should be, we can be administering anywhere from like crystals or sound healing or, or like aromatherapy or really just like medicines. Yes. And, and they, they do something for us. You know, you can just let alone other people, maybe our hands on or, or like humming a little a beautiful little sound into it is it it is something you know it's not just through our mouth and um, other, you know what I mean that there's a lot of stuff that we don't know about um, it's coming up now it's ancient knowledge to um, have um, coming up different ways technologies of um, how we listen you know our teeth are 100% but now what I'm talking about is technology um, instead of going in the ear like this there's ways to hook into your teeth and I was looking at into that a long time ago um see I'm an intergalactic general we made it this far is it Saturday I'll put it on Saturday welcome to sci-fi Saturday where um well I know that they have our technology as far as human being we can be we it positively hooked into synthesized um, listening devices. Um, it's hard to explain, but it's. Um, I should get out there. The birds are starting to let on the house. Um, there's. Um, see, it's hard to be. You know, the thing we do here is is trip out and remember. You know, we just remember um, about when we go out and look at the birds. Speaking of the birds, you know, I, I consider birds as little dragons. They're wonderful. They're wonderful. Just I can go on and on about it. But let me talk about the, the technology that is your that they hook into your teeth. It's not only sound, but you'll they start projection. What do you want from your cell phone kind of thing? But more like holographic, very advanced. But what is the use for it all? That's the thing. It's exciting to know that there might be a use for all of us, mommy and daddy. What if it's just a, a massive movie? And, and having said that, you can, can you dig? See, the part of the, the thing we don't like about the movie and we kind of have to be wary of, and this is part of it, is just the narcissists that genuinely down to the core, the root of them, um, well, there isn't anything there. So they, they don't like what, there's nothing there to like about, they don't like their movie. Theirs is fostered. If we just, okay, you like your um, subject matter of narcissism. It's something we, we need to look at because it's, you know, I don't doubt that, see how that we have these squares with Saturn and, and Pisces. Now, it has to do with our, Pisces has to do with our, boy, talk about it, an ultimate narcissist. I'm telling you, every one of them, of them will have their traits. And a lot of people will point at Leo being a mm, big head. And it's like, yeah, that's a very huge trait there. Um, but the, nar but, but like, you know, because uh, Pisces, Pisces kind of takes everybody's cake and throws it in the ocean and says, I'm the biggest illusion maker of them all and it's hard to tell since that's, that's what we're supposed to be doing after all is just look at the parts that we're playing as as um so-called characters you know really do we is see some people can um, play god thanks for listening to this um that they like their character that that they know that the character isn't solid and that's what we need, mean by they still love their character they're not God, this is great to get into it, it's right, right, but it's like they're not unsolid. 
knowing that they're not not solid they are solid knowing that they're unsolid it's like it's like this saying i've come up with once before um, um if you don't know that you have gone astray um, then you have gone astray definitely you're gone more astray than the ones that know that they have gone astray you see astray from what shauna well uh, maybe there is a place we go when we sleep at night and it's more our life. It's more uh, a kind of a relief away from the fake life that we ha live here, maybe. But having said that, you know, well, um, you know, we're looking at fractal um, ways of looking into things. And, and so people are worlds and, you know, y y narcissists are um, a trip because um, they're not with us <laughs> in reality. And the, the the one screen, the one application to log in on is reality, and and it, it's hard to get the right air to breathe, to say the right word, to mention that no, in reality, see that reality is the one who is watching, and that's how it is that we can have cameras. It's just of course. It's kind of scary and everything, but no, not if you get more and more human. The best security is transparency, but we're talking about getting more and more human. What does that mean? It doesn't mean to deny that there's two sexes here, for God's sakes, or any kind of truth on top of that. Boy, just getting right into that. Why? <laughs> Let's talk more about uh, what's happening in astrology. It's really intense. I keep looking at this. It's like, oh my God, do you realize that now look at this. <coughs> Pardon me. I was talking about the Venus square Mars, and I have to make sure. Venus, yes. See, when, when Gemini, when Mars is in Gemini, when there's a Gemini, and when there's a, a Virgo, that's a square. It's an element, it's an elemental square, and then now it's starting to get exact right here. Boy, it looks like it it does a funky thing at 22 degrees, and it doesn't show because Venus kind of skips from what 21 to 23 on in this book. But it's pretty accurate what I'm looking at. I know I, I'm looking at the old book. And um, it's here on the 23rd. Okay. All right. 20, I, I remember I, I said 24, 23rd. But it kind of switches. I'm, I'm looking at it. And that, it's just difficult in love and with men and women. Between men and women. I mean, God. If you haven't, I don't like the subject matter at all. You know, I think both of them have the possibility of becoming purely aware. Which is... This moment now, now talk about reality. Do you think that you are one with outer space? Do you think you can just like achieve being one with the inner and your your inner and the outer? Really, it's the same. Uh, you know, this is what's been difficult for me to to try to explain because I didn't know right through and through that you shouldn't put any boundaries between it. Because if you really get the nature of outer space, babe, it's not the atom bomb going off. It's not the sun. It's not um, a turd laying there. It's not the porch light. It's not the couch. It's not the person falling backwards on a wheelchair or something, or you trying to think that you had something more to do other than this moment now. See, it's it's the space in, that's holding all of that stuff, that amazing sh possibility of stuff, stuff in general. Um, uh, can you take a break from it? Um, do you know how? Well, um, there is a space. Get into it. It's very quiet. It's not quiet like you think. It's sound. It's pure sound. It's amazing. As a, as a musician, I'm telling you, just listen to it as not like anything. But, um, you know, unfortunately, musicians might be crazy because we can organize like six chainsaws, four wood grinders, and your own vacuum, and somebody hammering over there, we can start organizing that into music. We'll, be, we'll just go, oh my god, that, yay, but I'm telling you, and that is advanced. That is advanced. Because otherwise, and see, really, a, a real live musician is pulling from all of that and making music in front of your face. They're, they are kind of, see, the entire existential reality is happening. Um, space, outer space, the final frontier, the it's very potent. It's so potent, it's like this. Not even an officer can breathe with you, especially if they have a beard and a mustache. I didn't just say if it wasn't a woman. Women do. 
grow beards and mustaches. Hi, Jesus, was that you? It's quite possible. <laughs> okay, um, gee, gotta lighten up the show between men and women. I am not interested at all. I know that there's that, it's weird, and I don't call it a war. I say they've been hijacked. Yes, what's been hijacked, Shauna? Perception, like where is life really happening? I say there's an outer space reality, the final frontier. Isn't that brilliant? Thanks for listening. See, I, I'm, I'm doing my practice right in front of your face. Uh, you know, it's good to, um, uh, you know, get away from it all every once in a while. Maybe go up in the mountains, deep divers, and sit next to a waterfall and just maybe watch a bird. Did a butterfly fall by? I mean, God, are you really that restless? Really? Really? And why did you come up here to miss that? Did you think you need to tractor it around? That's interesting. But did you see how it just, you can't do much with it. It's just going to come back and back and back. I can't believe a frog actually croaked. <laughs> Uh-oh, whatever you do, don't really laugh and have a great time, man. Fuck. You're going to get rid of disease. Sorry, did I, did I work this thing? Yay, I'm working it right now. I'm going to erase, I'm going to pull the, um, what I just erased off of my, I'm going to make sure I, I post this, you know. It's possible to feel good around about now, especially if you're one of like me who's crazy. We love to get into detail and the truth. <laughs> That's when you start feeling good. You're like, yay, are we really going to get rid of disease? What were you saying about reality and outer space? And, you know, the truth, you know, ask Joe Dispenza. It's your body. You can all of a sudden just get up, go. Don't even think about it. Just move. Do do a freaking jumping jack. Just get in. Exercise. Exercise. Now he's sitting there. Yes, me. Well, I will tell you about my mind later on. But usually I, I jump right to the body. But no, it's all about just trying to get a hold of that fucking thing. What is it? We don't know where it is. Well, uh, can we advise you to get get more into your body and, and, and let that puppy roll? Uh, yeah, that's why there is Saturday Night Live there. Uh, but, yeah, the word comedian, comedia, there's media in there that comes up, with the mercury in the sky, um, we have uh, these planets that are doing this thing, and uh, because of the, the square to Saturn, it, it's going to stop a lot of the weirdness that could be spaghetti about, like out of control. Like we know that the Jupiter and Gemini is already doing, but then also with Mars there being hyperactive. Not a bad thing, it's not a good thing, but no, see, it's the conjunction. See, I have not known, see, people with a Mercury-Jupiter, they have something going on with their glib and their glob and the gloob. Really, it's like this. Um, they could be complete liars after a while. They can get lost in the false information field, which is the mind. It's like, wait a minute, are you handling the truth or not? Really, get into your body. Hello? I mean, shh. Like, hey, Shauna, what about you? Well, I do balance it out really, really intensely. I, I have, a, um, um, you know, if you know about the extremes, then you know about Mars, Pluto, and the Sun. They're kind of extreme-oriented. You know, the Sun is an extreme, right? With It's just shining. You can't even look at it. It's so extreme. Mars is pretty darn extreme over there, too. It's like, it's like, where's your flowers and stuff? And it's like, no, I'm working, and it's doing iron and shit. And then Pluto is talking about extremes. It loves extremes. It's like, I'm, I'm eating ex extreme for breakfast and lunch and dinner. Otherwise, I'm not nourished. You know, that's um, the deeper part of us that really knows that this is what it takes to look into the truth. Thank you for sitting through that. It's minute 38. Boy. I'm trying to talk about um, the Mars square of Venus coming up. You know, hold on to each other tightly if you love love. You know, blah, blah, blah. Um, see... With the tempering down with the Saturn, is, is in fact, is going to be a tempering down. I see that um, with a lot of people talking quicker and just getting it out because the spaghetti is going to be taken out. Have you noticed wherever you go, you yourself, wherever it is, basically, I'm telling you, the organism is going through like, okay, really, I can take care of this. You, how you do it, you get done, get it done now. Just do it. Boom. Take care of it. Move it. Adjust it. There, this was off a little bit. There, fix that and put this over there. Uh, dust around, just get into it. Really get into the moment you can. Why? How? Because that's what Taurus has been trying to ask us to do for a lifetime. Well, since it's been in Taurus, 
um, since Uranus has been in Taurus, since Uranus has been saying, you know what, you're going to have to um, figure this out. You know, you do not run around so much. It's about change and, and where are we going to change, you know. And we're reorientating our wealth. We're going to start doing it through acknowledgement about um, really um, how do we even know anything well, can you believe that communications is going to still persist through what we're about to go through this month? People are going to still manage to try to, they're going to have to convey something. You know, I happen to think that with this Mercury retrograde, you know, it, it's giving us a little um, little test of a t test of the, um, um, how that Mercury in Virgo really is. See, we're lavishing, we're getting ready for that the sun is going to go into Virgo. We we'll just keep moving forward. What we're trying to do is communicate. Now, the communi planet of communication, Mercury, Gemini, it's speaking to this, um, the way that it's wrestling with um, um, Taurus, um, Mercury, uh, Uranus and Taurus. Um, see, Ur Uranus is trying to get into to Gemini. It will by the time it's this year, next year, um, we're going to go through an amazing transformation uh, with our communications. That the way that we do value our um, Earth, Earth, um, uh, our you know our um, microcosms, like our our personal relationships, especially the love in our life, because it has to do with Taurus. We can't ignore what's happening the the vibration of Uranus going through Taurus. That is always going to be like this grounding thing saying, how is your love life really? What is it about? What is it? See, you have to value the, the soothsayers, the people that are um, very strange, shamans, the shamanic people, because they're getting back into your real science you know otherwise you have your mind as a ghost maker and this is like uh, how do we deal with this thing and um the because this isn't any easier um uh that's the whole thing is because you know your mind is is screwed up with all kinds of beliefs about it thinking one way or another and not handling it's like will you please of course you need um lsd or mushrooms or a shaman some kind of trip go over there what happened did you go through the dark night of the soul? Is it still there? Can you just get into the complete protractor that the entire organism is going through? And now if you're in Aries, you are experiencing everybody's, everybody's, you know, because uh, you are kind of already ahead. You're like, damn, what was that? But then it's like, no, everybody around you, it's like, oh, really? Well, yeah, it's time for this major transformation if people aren't going to make that change they do it in a terrible way it's like oh my god even me right everybody you have to make sure that you're doing your own troubles like you're creating it thoroughly that you know for a fact that all of the problems that you're experiencing to date right now especially is 100 percent your self undoing or doings make sure it's 100 percent you deciding because you're like now now it's like oh, you're on track Right on track. No, you don't blame anybody. But now, the last thing now is just to don't blame anybody else. Just say, you know, it's supposed to be this way. And accept, accept, accept that, you know, oh, what's happening now. Do you think you should eat something? And when you do, eat something healthy. So that Taurus is asking us to breathe. Do you have a body? Go into the sunshine. Don't, no, 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 don't, don't block it. Get 20 minutes of sun on you. Bake your ass like a shish kebab. Get, get it right on your head. Get your download from what's happening. And fry. You're not going to last forever. Do it in such a way that, that what is oared out of you is just great experiences. So that when the children listen to you open your mouth, they're not confused so much. It's just a confirmation. They're like, yay, let's go play. Don't forget how to play. See, that's the thing that we need to remind Taurus also. But see, Taurus is saying this is the ultimate play is when you get into your microcosm and you meditate and you make. God, I hate to say this, but it's like because I, I, I don't want to get all materialistic. But we are here in the world of the earth 
and how it is. It's, it is just lavish. I mean, if we really did it right, look at the pyramids over there and, and the structures that were left behind that you have no idea how they looked before. Those are just skeletons. It was adorned in jewels and the technology that they used there and how they, you know, um, things grew bigger and better and more bulkier. And just imagine that garden, baby. It's not bad, right? We have a problem with being programmed to, you know, live weird. And it's, we're trying to see now, I just splashed on it. It's too much Mars and it's not enough Venus. It could be as simple as that. I mean, what do we? What, what did we just say there, though? Did I say no? It see, there's each each one, both men and women, could have the possibility of um, knowing their lovability, and how miraculous it really is. You know, it's the part in them that is sensitive, and turn on your senses, turn on your heart mainly, turn on your heart, and whew, talk about controversy. Talk about controversy. See, everybody is rolling their eyes right now. See, the money system is just an excuse. Like I said, it, it's like it's a fallback thing. It's like, you know, you got to be careful because just because you can't um, manage yourself up a decent human relationship, that's what that, that is there for. Now you're you're creating padding and, and uh, but it's across the board. Now, is it a decent human relationship? Now, because what constitutes that? I would say the truth does, because that keeps our well-being. Now, what is that? Well, I flash on just the basics, like farming. Do you farm your own foods? You know how much better you feel when you go out and you just done, done that stuff? And having said this, congratulations to those who are doing it. Um, and, um, and, and, uh, and you think that, um, and you connect it to me, you know, as being the inspiration, because I know how that is, because the reason why I do it is because I was inspired by some people that were always doing it. And, but really, the, the, the truth is, is you have, you have um, a life force energy in you that um, you're capable of mining. It's called mining, or you ore it up. It's the ore that we grab out of the human capability and its presence here. Um, your intellectual property, your IQ level is just, it's really infinite. And, and gardening is just one of many. And it, it, it's so profound, babes, if you, you pay attention with what you're working with there um, because everything can come out of it um, uh, as far as you you want to write a children's book and about the metaphor behind gardening see we have yet to get into all of that we are getting pummeled by bullshit and and, and we, we think that we have to fight it and it's like no turn turn the attention don't and, and unplug the whatever codependency we have from that and get back to the real information field that knows how to tell these stories and center and say, no, see, that, that calmness that Taurus really does have, that knows that, nah, yeah, um, this is all turning into some strange fairy tale land, land kind of stuff, the stories particularly, and yeah, the fables and stuff, um, doesn't have to be so hocus pocus really, and, and of course, keep painting your pictures and using color and don't ever get away from the hands-on um, occupation. Yeah, very important to, to have say that, say that. Um, you know, Gemini rules hands, and that's where we have Mars right now. They're very into it, and um, with Saturn and Pisces, it, it's just, it's so trippy to think of that, uh, how it's going to really temper down and discipline the, the, the possible communication that wants to come out, and even, the, you know, the researching and all this stuff like this, maybe, um that's trying to happen because because i find that mars and gemini is a little bit too much with their research and and wanting to know and it's like well but but do you but are you applying it to your physical life see it's a it's a mercury ruled mars and they could just burn themselves out and they can never get to that i've known this all my life i've known mercury um, mars and gemini's i love them because of the way that they collect when they when they do get it going on, if they have other planets somewhere else, and like you want, you know, you have to. It's not just Mars and Gemini, but if they are an Aries Sun, then it's most likely that they just have a freaking uh, a life of full of a memorabilia that's a novelty. Uh, speaking of novelty, thanks for listening to this. It's now the time for the, our generation from oh from the fifties on up to the um, uh, uh, almost the nineties, but more like the eighties. 
I'm dropping off the mid 80s. Okay, we're we're worried about the ones that were left uh, that were um, treated by the. They had leashes on their backs. I don't know about you, but that's what was happening. I was observing it by the time I was 11. I was like, what's going to happen with those little toddlers that have fucking leashes on their backs? But anyway, we are novelty. Whoever's from the 60s, 70s, especially the 70s, baby, come on, me. Disco, no, the novelty, what is it? Well, we're looking back at the, we're looking at the, um, our lovability, whatever um, information field, just what has programmed us up. Um, uh, how did we actually escape the Matrix programming? Did we, how do you like this thing I'm wearing right now? Um, did did we um, get halfway into our bodies at all? That's basically it. Were you able to climb the fence and jump over it and get on the roof and jump in the pool and then go out up and then possibly raid your um, neighbor's refrigerator or whatever? No, but I'm not like that. No, if you do that, but I don't. I've never done that. I didn't have to. But if you do, you just, you just go for the beer. That's all. I'm just kidding. Minute 50. Something worthwhile here. Like and subscribe. Um, thank you for um, just being there. I'm trying to um, get focused enough to, to um, get my Patreon going. That's going to happen pretty soon. Um, just the natural order of things. What happens? It's very microclimactic. <laughs> um, you know, like right now, I hope it's the same with you. Have you eaten yet today? Go, whatever you eat, make sure it's organic. I'm telling you, there's such a big difference between the, the inorganic, um, the apple number four and or the apple number nine. That's how it is with the United States, babes. It's not about an imagined um, scenario. No, it's about how you feel. And people that are telling you this, and the reason why, it's just because, um, yeah, they, we feel a difference. We do. It's um, uh, like Tesla, you know, or me or anybody that has ultra sensitivity, um, um, your mouth is able to hear if it's alive or not, you know, and um, having said that, thank you. I have a good food. Please drink the alkaline water. A lot of it. Um, treat yourself right because you are an aperture that is going to start to keep, you know, if it's not, if it's not this lifetime, or it's, an, it's another that you're going to realize that you're, you're kind of, you have a profound responsibility to at least use the five senses. But there is like um, 12 or 52 different senses. Talk about your IQ level and everything, babes. And what we are dialing into, it's exciting, really, that the future holds um, for generations to come. Because we don't really know what's going to happen. If we can fight the war that is the war, really, what is it? See, they call it psychological warfare. It's like 99.99% of it. But then, so then... Doesn't, don't you think that that means that we're dealing with our intellectual properties then? Like what we belong to, like what um, possibly um, benefits us at all if we were to just turn ourselves on as an organism. Aren't you glad I didn't say orgasm?